we mentioned that we've started our um, membership side and we're now filling it up for the first month. And um, so we're choosing a theme for each month and then we fill it up with uh, videos, podcasts, um, I recorded the meditation, uh, there are exercises, there are um, transcripts. Um, well, there's a lot of material in it, but it's not, it's not overwhelming. And it's all centered on this one theme so that people can sort of go with it and have a whole month um, to sort of hang out and, and, and deep, get deeper into the, mat mater mat uh, into the matter. And after that, we can also uh, work with them on Zoom and they can you know, share and ask questions and all that. And we have a Facebook group now and already members are pouring in. So it's very, very exciting. And, um, and I did my first video and made my first video. And after I've been hiding behind my microphone, you know, just doing the podcasts for two years now, I finally did a video and it was really good. So I wanted for Mimi to see it right away. And she said, no, I'm not going to. You just really finish it and tell me what you think about it. And I was going like, mm -hmm, you know, <laughs> but she was very, she was right because I had to have a feel. Was it really like how I wanted it to be? And um, so I did some, I, I, I did some testing first and then I recorded the video in one go. It was, you know, not quite half an hour. And then I, uh, then I cut it. I, I really didn't have to cut it. In fact, it, it was a one go thing, but I layered uh, things on it. So I worked with, you know, Mimi's uh, staircase that I explained a few things about. So I layered the, the picture of that on the screen when I was talking about it. And I also made a drawing myself of something that I layered on it. And Mimi explained to me how to do that. And it's super easy in Camtasia. Everyone can do that. And I was just, you know, it was so amazing because today I was on uh, lesson 251 where it says the only thing that I really want is the truth, right? And I, I went like, that means that you really have to let go of all the roles that you've been playing. And one of the roles that I've been playing always was, well, I'm good at languages, but I'm really lousy at everything that has to do with science and technical stuff and all of that and maths and all that. I'm really bad at that. And now I'm 65 and discovering that this is such bullshit. This is just something that I've been walking around with, but it's absolutely unnecessary. So all of you who are so much younger, go ahead and don't believe that kind of shit anymore, you know, because ever since I got that out of my head, it was just blocking me. It was just blocking me like crazy, but I had lots of, you know, ego came up with lots of explanations about it. I could really explain away why I just couldn't, but it was just not true. It was a bunch of lies. And the moment I decided, because it had to do with the decision, I decided this is not me. This has nothing to do with me. I'm going to just start all over again. I want to discover what this is like when I just open my mind, because you just have to open your mind, you know? All of us, we are intelligent. It's just a matter of opening that mind. And this is, for me, this is also where, where Holy Spirit comes in because he's like my buddy who's always there and tells me what to do at the right time when I just let myself go into that flow. And so now, lately, I've been really doing that. And it was like, I, I cannot explain it. It was like, you know, I... I, I did that video, then I worked on it, and within one hour, it was completely finished from start to finish, and it was perfect. I was absolutely satisfied. And even a week ago, 
if you would have asked me, I would have said, oh, no way. No way. This is just way over my, you know, comfort zone and everything and would have lots of excuses. But something really changed. And this is, has to do with, our t- with the corona thing. I mean, for me, the, the corona thing is an absolute blessing. It's the best thing that could happen to me because it was the most huge wake-up call that I got. It was like, you know, God was sort of like (laughs) shaking me up and saying, how long are you still going to hang in there and wait around and play small? Or are you going to finally step into your light? So this is what I'm doing now. And I'm having a ball. I'm having no more symptoms. I'm having no more weak times. I have energy up through the ceiling. Lisa, I love you. You know, it works, darling. It does. And I must admit, there was a time during the healing cure where I almost couldn't stand you, where I thought, you know, this is such bullshit because she just sits there and says, you just have to say, my holiness envelops the world and all this and that and the other. And I know all of that stuff, but it doesn't work. And, and if still, if it wouldn't have been for you um, believing in me, because you believed, you showed us, you're still showing us that when you do that and you just take that decision every time anew, that things do change. And even if you are listening to that now and you think like, well, it's not changing for me, it is. Because it changes maybe on another level that you don't really notice it yet. But it's like accumulating and there will be this moment where your wake-up call is coming. I'm now absolutely convinced of that. And um, yeah, so... That's what I wanted to share. I love you all so much. So beautiful. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Joan. That was the best. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I, I cannot tell you how many people over the years, maybe it's everybody. I don't know. Not that many. Not everyone tells me. But it, usually at some point, if people are honest, they'll come to me and say exactly what you just said on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll say it. I don't like you. I don't. I. I think you're arrogant. I think you're selfish. I think you're a know-it-all. I think you're <laughs> all the bullshit. I think you're like. And and that's. It. But that's what we're going to all encounter as we step into our true voice and our true hmm. work. And we. And I have to say for myself as a teacher, like I'm always evolving. I don't even. You know, it's a never-ending. So. That's right. But the joy that I feel in hearing what's happening for you, like in th- the theme that I always see in people, I think when they really experience healing, a true healing in their is when I love that everybody's swearing on this call also, because it is like a fuck it, like screw it. Like I'm just, yeah. but I mean like three of you have already like use a swear word in this call and that's the best because it's like you let go of the idea of trying to be perfect to try to keep Mm. the image intact it's like and I love Mimi that you supported Joan in letting her find her way like that's important that we all have to really go through that wall that we put up there it's just, that's the comfort zone, which becomes the discomfort zone at one point, because you're just like, I can't live in this, this space of stuckness anymore. It's mm-hmm. lit- it literally becomes the discomfort. <clears throat> yep. And then you, there's a point where it's like, we don't really know how to break through because we're judging ourselves and we're comparing ourselves to how other people have done it. And then the mind just goes, well, the lighting's bad in here and I don't know what I'm going to say. And so many other people have said it so much better than I do. And who am I? And, but when you actually do it, 
like when you actually just sit down and do it, and again, this is just like Mimi was expressing, the joy we feel, the expansion, just from the doing it, before we even send mm -hmm. it out to anybody. Mm -hmm. so it's like the healing's there where it's like, oh, wow. Because that's, that's our inner self. That's our true self that's rejoicing that finally we're collaborating. Finally, yes. we're letting this, it's like this energy field that's been wanting to come through, but we keep blocking it. We're like, yep. nope, not today. And finally, it's just like, fuck it. I'm just mm -hmm. going to push the button. And I love it. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see that video. Or is it probably in German, huh? <laughs> it's, it's in German. I still want to see but it. You Where can have it? a look just so you can see that because it is good. Is it on YouTube? I sent you, I sent you the link to our membership, and there it's okay. in, then you can see everything we do. Even if you don't understand, it's just lovely with all the pictures. Oh, okay. and music and <laughs> Oh, that's so great! Thank you so much. And the first, the first theme on the on the month coming now, and, and start we start in May, and it's I'm not a body, I'm free, because mm -hmm. I just knew I have to start out with that. It's it's mm -hmm. like masterclass, I know, but I just knew so many people are stumbling on that when they get when they're through the forty days, and I knew I'm going to you know grab this thing by its horns and just take it on right now mm -hmm. and of course we'll we won't be through it with one month but it doesn't matter it will just come up again and again yeah and i just want to point out so jill said the same thing and joan said the same thing and this is for everyone so both you jill and joan said the healing came because i believed in you or i saw something in you that you didn't see mm -hmm. that's the healing trick that's that literally is the key so whenever you, you're working with someone or you have a mailing list, like you take that position where you come into a certainty, even if you don't have it yet, even if you're not sure what you're doing, we all have the certainty to see in our brother something they don't see in themselves, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We all have that. Like we all can, and that's why what you're doing, Mimi, is so cool. Like your you're people... This is, this is the other thing I've learned from all the years that I've been doing this work. People want to be seen. They mm. want to be heard. That, that's it. Like, yeah. Those are the two things. They just want to be seen and heard. heard. And, we can, and we can give that to them. Yeah. Like we, all ha we all have that ability to, to do that. And, you know, it's, sometimes it's not possible to do it for everyone. Um just as your mailing list begins to grow. But you'll see when somebody's in front of you, like you can actually do it in that moment. And, and that's, that's how somebody, that's where the healing is. It's not in our words. It's not in our, it's not in anything else but that. It's like, I know you can do this. I know you got this. 